What's up guys? I was gonna go live on Facebook Live, but don't have a strong enough signal at this house for some reason. So instead, I'm gonna record it and uh, post it. So here it is. I'm at uh, a house that we just finished up. We're just doing a final punch list on this house. And the address here is uh, 519 Haywood. And we're gonna have an open house on Sunday, this Sunday. I believe Sunday is the 15th, May 15th, between two and four. And uh, you can see this house at 519haywood.com, 519haywood.com. And I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and, and show you the final product, everything but a, a little punch list that we're getting ready to wrap up tomorrow and showing start on Friday. So it's live right now, but it's, uh, we're holding off showing until Friday. So I'm gonna show you this house, ready? So here's the final product stage, living room. Came out real nice. This is the house that was built in 1925 and we basically gutted it down to four walls, popped the roof off of it, changed all the windows, locations, uh, doors, all the interior walls are new, new flooring, electrical, plumbing, uh, HVAC, ductwork, I mean, everything is new here. So, just walk you through. One of the things on the punch list, as you can see, that shower rod is a little too high that needs to come down. But here's the secondary hall bath, tile, nice clean looking craftsman style house. And here's one of the secondary bedrooms. And let me show you this closet. Custom built-in closets. It's a nice secondary bedroom closet, right? And uh, the other secondary bedroom, it's a three bedroom, two bath. Uh, don't quote me on this, but somewhere in a 1,450 square foot range. Front bedroom closet. And take you towards the master. As you can see, all new doors, all new trim. It was gutted to studs, brand new windows. The wood windows with a composite exterior. Um, simulated divided light uh, grids are actually, as you can see, are grids on both sides, inside and out. Got a nice three inch uh, white oak flooring. Here's the kitchen. Nice big kitchen, big island. So I think this came out real nice, a lot of space. Check out this wall. Okay, got a built-in space here, built-in space there, barn doors, open up the barn doors and that's your pantry. And so when you open up the barn doors, you can close off the built-in space, not that you're gonna expose your pantry, but who knows? So then it kind of looks like that, completely opened up. Got dining area back there. Added in a lot of light. Again, most of these windows and door locations on the exterior are completely new and different. That's not where they were. We completely redesigned this house. Here's the laundry area, decent sized laundry, some built-in, some hanging area, and the master, I couldn't turn the light on because the remote is missing batteries or something right now, so need to get that. But this has uh, two closets. This is just another small closet, another space we had to work with. So we have this small closet here. Master and going into the master bathroom. Nice big walk in shower, frameless shower door, three eighths glass, door swings in or out. Got some built in shelves, built in seat. Oh, I'd like to show you this too. All the drawers are full extension, dovetail. Cushion clothes, 
and all the doors are also cushion closed in the entire house. So nice solid cabinetry. Here's the master closet and Mr. JD Astasian gave me this nice little scissor feature that needs to be clean that we've been putting in every single one of our houses. I'm not sure if I can open it. No, the guys have the keys. Or the code, sorry. But yeah, master. All right, and I'll take you, check out this backyard. I mean, again, we're right in downtown and I'll show you how close we are. You can actually see some of downtown from the living room here. So I'll get back to that in a minute, but check out this area. I mean, you don't find this in downtown Raleigh. Nice, big, huge, open backyard, nice deck. As you can see, a lot of rehabbing going on. I don't know if you can see behind the fence there. All those houses were just done. So, yes, uh, elementary school right over there. Check out the back. So we painted the windows on the exterior red color. And it came out nice. Down the side, they've got some work to do over here. Completely fenced in the yard, brand new fence. And lastly, I'll show you the front of the house and that view I was telling you about where you can see downtown. Here's the kitchen again from the other angle. Just a nice wide open area, nice big open floor plan. It makes this uh, 1400 square feet feel like 1800 square feet. Has a front coat closet, right behind the front door, solid wood door, and Here's the front of the house. If you can see right beyond that house right there, you can see one of the buildings downtown. Not sure which one that is, but that's how close we are. Van Fletcher. VanFletcher.com is the realtor over here with Alan Tate. And here's the front of the house. Let's scan that. We went through and we removed or added the wall a little bit further down and cut in a driveway on this side here. Cut in a driveway. So it has, most of these houses down here have street parking. And this one, we added some value by putting this driveway in. So that's the house. Again, open house is on Sunday, this Sunday. May, I believe the 15th. From two to four, vanfletcher.com. You can also see this house at 519haywood.com. 519haywood.com. Come check it out. See the final product. We're, uh, li it's listed for two, 375, 375,000. I don't think this one's gonna stay on the market long. Come check it out. Get your offers in. See ya.